right? So my job is not to do any teaching. It's to help us enter into the grace that's already at work. So maybe by a show of hands, if you feel like you have that courage, who felt when they were forgiving people, you, you felt something in your heart lift? Anybody testify to that yet? It's really beautiful. It's always amazing to me the way God speaks into the heart. I think it's even more amazing the way he frees the heart. I, I wasn't, you know, asked today to give a testimony, but I can tell you that in my own life, you know, the renunciation of these lies we're going to look at in a minute were so powerful in me, it kept me from consecration. It kept me from religious life, even though that's the only thing I've ever wanted since I was a child. That's how powerful those lies were in me. So today you have that opportunity, I think, to enter into that grace of freedom, and that grace of freedom never ends. You know, Father Pierre said that you have the authority to kick anything evil, dirty, awful out of your heart. Yeah, you can be the garbage man for your own soul and ask God for that cleansing. You have that authority. He gives it to you. He gives it to you. Jesus gives that to you by dying on that cross. You know, when I use the image of the cross, when I, I pray, I stare at it quite often to remind myself. I can see my sins. I can see my lies. I can see the resentment. I can see the abandonment that's right in here, nailed right up there. And I can say to myself, it's cleaning day. And so I clean the house through the grace of God. So that's what we're going to do. This is going to be hard work for you. So I'm always straight and up front with people. It was really hard work for me. So I got to believe it's going to be hard work for you. I see some people nodding their heads. Yes. But the beauty, the beauty of cleaning day is always the way that it sparkles after you've dusted or gotten off the mud, right? Spring is coming. Spring is coming for your heart. So what I'm going to encourage you to do, I'm going to have Tom play in the background in just a second, because I, I like sometimes we like to deaden the silence, right? Makes it easier for us. So he's going to play in the background, and I'm going to run through some of these spirits, and I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to put on your heart and reveal to your mind things that you need to clean out. What I'm going to encourage you to do is if you brought a pen with you, you're going to write, you're going to list, you're going to highlight, you're going to circle, you're going to do whatever's your way so that you can see these things that are keeping you. This is exactly what I did, actually many times in my life, because I'm a complicated, stubborn soul that I had to do this many, many times, and I'm embarrassed to say it. I, actually, I'm not embarrassed to say it. I'm grateful to say it. I finally went to John Kazanjian, and I said, I know, John, you preach all the time not to come to you, but I can't figure this sucker out, and it's not working. So he helped me. But he helped me list. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to enter in the grace. We're going to ask the Holy Spirit to come down now. Oh, come, Holy Spirit. Come into our hearts. Fill this place with your grace. Oh, Spirit, we give you permission to move, to move on cleaning day, to reveal the areas, the wounds. Oh, Spirit, free us from pain as we see those wounds as we have those memories, help us to stay in that grace of forgiveness. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for pouring forth your spirit. Oh, Jesus, we ask that you reveal to people places in their area, in their areas in their lives where they've known abandonment. Abandonment from you. Abandonment from fathers, from father figures, from those in authority. From mothers, from those who should have shown love. Reveal those places. Reveal those places of rejection. Reveal those places of anger. Those places of resentment. Those places where we hang on to control. Those places of deception. emptiness. Fears we may have. Places of hopelessness. Idols we keep. Insecurities. Places of isolation. judgment and criticism. Places where we've been powerless. Or given into perfection. places of pride, the places of shame and humiliation. Oh, Jesus, we ask for your freedom in these places. Let the love of the Father come into these places. That we know that reckless love. 